since nakapag-discuss na tayo regarding sa double pipe and shalanchu, let's try solving for a heat exchanger that is um, oriented uh, or constructed using a cross flow or fin tube. Cross flow fin tube. So um, this heat, heat exchanger, um, we can visualize it as something like uh, meron dyang, um parang plates and then may mga tubes dito. So for example, yung fluid dito pumapasok and then yung ating mga plates na individual plates ay uh, yung fluid, the other fluid will simply um, flow through these plates para maging magkaroon ng perpendicular movement or perpendicular contact yung ating fluid. Pero not direct contact but um, with boundaries syempre ng ating mga tubes dito. So, um, let's have the condition first. So, we know that this is a cross flow. And by the way, I would like to say na pag cross flow, automatic yung ating or cross flow heat exchanger. So, cross flow heat exchanger, automatic na yung ating consider na LMTD is counter current. So, unlike dun sa ating double pipe na it can be parallel or co-current and then counter-current and dun sa ating shell and tube na depende dun sa figure kung ano ba yung hitsura niya pero mostly din is counter-current yung LMT din ng cross flow would always be counter-current but of course, it also has this um, FT which is yun nga yung ating correction factor so it says here that it uses water or hot water to heat air from 20 to 45 degrees Celsius so in short, meron tayong um, um, air, oh, water, sorry, hot water to heat air. So, meron tayong um, hot water na pumapasok at 75 degrees Celsius. So, we have THI. So, that's 75 degrees Celsius. And then, yung exit niya, so, we have THO is equal to 45 degrees Celsius. And this is for water. And then, yung ating, of course, yung ating malamig na hangin, we have DCI. That's 20. And then, yung ating outlet is hotter. So, that's 45. And then, this is um, air. So, basically, kung i-check natin yung temperature profile niya, so, we have the inlet um, hot water here. So, it um, goes down along the... Um, the temperature goes down along the along the heat exchanger and then, nagkoko, nagka-counter current siya dun sa Added, pero yung direction is um, cross or cross flow. So, basically, ito yung ating delta T and then ito yung isa natin delta T. So, sabi dito, the total, heat ex uh, the total heat transfer rate is to be 35 kilowatts. So, we have Q is equal to 35 kilowatts. So, that's 35 times 10 cube watts. And it says also here that if the overall heat transfer coefficient, so, hindi ni specify kung ito ba is outside or inside so we'll just use it as a general u so that's 50 watts per meter squared degrees celsius and we need to calculate the area of the heat exchanger so again we need to calculate uh, this area so sa same lang nung concept natin na ginawa before so yung ating formula here would be q is equal to u a and then the log mean temperature difference so that's t n where in this case yung ating uh, mean temperature difference is the product of our correction factor and then the log mean temperature difference using counter current for this one and then FT is the correction factor obtained from the Paris handbook. So let's check on uh, our LMTD first so that we can have all the necessary values kasi yung ating Q is given as well as our U so if we're able to, pi to find um, delta TM then we can solve for our A right away. So LMTD, so the log mean temperature difference is simply for counter current, we have THI, then minus TCO, then minus THO minus TCI, and then we divide this by each temperature difference. So whenever you get confused with what to write, you can always check on the profile of the temperatures for each of the fluid. 
So, lagi naman na mas mataas yung THI kasi siya yung inlet natin na mainit. Then, bababa lagi siya sa direction na yan. So, almost fixed yung ating um, THI pa baba. Now, if it's parallel, so basically, mag-start siya dito sa baba and then um, tataas siya. Same, in the same way na nag-start sila dito sa same side ng ating um, hit, hit exchanger. Kaya, dito siya nag-start. Para kasing imagine nyo, ito ay um, side to ng hit exchanger. So, if it's uh, parallel, then, I mean, cut current, then, of course, dun siya mag-start dun sa other side of the pipe or the heat exchanger. So, in this case, I'll just have to substitute all of these values. So, we have 75, and then TCO is 45, and then minus THO is 45, and then what we have here is 20. And then we divide this by ln of THI minus TCO is um, 75 minus 45. And then we have here seven, uh, 45 again. And then minus 20. Okay. So the log mean temperature difference will give us a value of 27.424. Degrees Celsius, or it could be Kelvin. So remember, your LMTD should come close to the difference in each of them. So the body to is twenty five, twenty five na ba yun? Ah, uh, thirty. And then this one is, I think it's um, ah, dito pala. So dito is thirty, and then this one is, I think it's twenty five. So with that, twenty five and thirty, so you could um guess or have an idea na dapat yung LMTD natin is in between those two values. Kaya, that's 27. Pero hindi natin pwede sabihin na it's just between 25 and 30. By that um, case kasi, you will say that it's 27.5 or um, around the value. But you should use LMTD instead para mas accurate yung inyong sagot. Okay? So, with this LMTD, we just need to find FT. Okay? And FT can be obtained from our graph pa rin. So, remember, dun sa ating Paris Handbook, meron tayo ditong shell and tube um, arrangement, but there's also this Ross flow. So, it's just on the same figure. I think that's figure 11-4. So, you can check on that. So, we have a lot here. And then, ito yung medyo confusing na part. Kung alam may pipiliin nyo dito. So, starting kasi dun sa ating um, letter F. Yes, letter F. They, they, this will have cross flow na. So, may cross flow sa F, <clears throat> starting, starting from F and then G, then meron din sa H, and then I, as well as hanggang J na pala siya. So, alin ba dito sa napakaraming cross flow? So, pag binasa niya siya, yung letter F is cross flow, one shell pass, and then one or more parallel rows or tubes. Then, yung letter G is a cross flow, pero meron tayong two passes for this one. And then for our H, we have cross flow. And then one shall pass, and then one tube pass, both fluids unmixed. And then letter I is fl uh, cross flow drip type, and then this one is cross flow drip type again. So basically, kung eliminate natin yung iba dyan, ang hindi natin agasasama is tong drip type, kasi syempre hindi naman drip type yung ating equipment. Pangalawa, yung cross flow two passes, syempre hindi naman binanggit na two pass yung ating cross flow. So X na agad to. So, we're left now with F and H, which is, which are both one shell pass. Yung isa lang is one or more parallel rows of tubes. And then, yung other one is one or more pass, both fluids and mixed. So, in cases like this, when you have a problem na hindi sinabi kung ano ba siya. Ang sinabi lang kasi is fin tube. But when you say fin tube, it's just like a type of a construction of tube na merong fins. So, it doesn't mean really na kung siya multi-tube or hindi. Pero, Pero when we have nothing to look at the par paragraph or the problem, kung ano ba talaga ang type siya ng cross flow, we would always assume na ito yung unmixed. So in this case, we will be choosing a letter H, which is the cross flow one shell pass. So yun na kasi yung pinaka basic niya na construction, then one tube pass as well, and then both fluids unmixed. So in this case, um, hindi sila nagmi-mix, as well as yung ating plates as merong. Um, merong divisions. And now, 
Um, the, yung, yung figure ko kasi is marami siyang tubes but uh, the idea is that um, syempre, drawing lang naman to but you can always just use one tube for this and then meron tayong um, isang movement lang ng ating um, fluid right here but separated by plates. So in that case, we choose um, H here. So, pwede natin siyang ilagay dito para hindi tayong malito. Cross, flow, and then unmixed. Okay. So, in this case, let's look for FT. So, with that, um, before we can solve for FT, we need to find the value of S and R. Again, our S is the effectiveness and R is the capacity ratio. So, S again is the ratio of the minimum um, sensible heat um, that difference and then the this is divided by the maximum temperature difference and usually it occurs in the differences between the inlet of both the fluid the hot fluid and the cold fluid and then yung ating minimum um, temperature difference ay makikita natin usually sa ating cold fluid but of course there are cases na hindi siya galing, but most of the time it is so in this case it's air Kasi yung difference ng 45 minus 20 is just 25. But, pero dito sa THI and THO, that's uh, 30. Okay. So, we have S. Uh, let's just write it na lang para hindi kayo malito. So, we have here T, uh, C, O minus T, C, I. And then divided by T, H, I minus T, H, O. So, this is equivalent to 45 and then minus 20. And then we have T, H, I. Sorry, this should be TCI. So we have THI, that's um, 75. And then we have TCI, right, which is 20. So this gives us 5 over 11. So the, the effectiveness of our heat exchanger is 5 over 11. That's around um, 0.45. And then for the effectiveness, uh, what we have here is simply the ratio of the um, or the capacity capacity ratio is simply the ratio of the difference in the sensible difference of the temperature of the hot fluid over the cold fluid so you can also check on your module for that one so uh, makita nyo siya dito um, page Ayan, that's page. Ano page two? Oh, basta ito na yun. So the hot fluid temperature change over the cold temperature change. So that's the capacity ratio. So in this case, we have the hot fluid being 75 going down to 45. So we can do THI minus THO, and then we have TCI, I mean TCO minus TCI. So we get 75 minus 45, and then what we have here is 45 and then 20. So it's like almost the same for our RNS. So 75 minus 45 is 30, and then for this case we have 25. So um, simplifying that, what we'll get is 6 over 5. So remember, the capacity ratio can be... Um, more than 1 but for S of course lagi siyang less than 1 kasi we only consider those um, minimum temperature change over the maximum temperature change by the way the highest value would be 1 for S okay so let's go back to the figures for letter H so that is our cross flow 1 shell pass assuming 1 tube and unmixed so our R is 6 over 5, that's 1.2. So I'll be writing the equivalent decimal. So that's 1.2 and this is around 0 0.45. So that's 1.2. So 1 point is around here. Right here for our... I'm sorry, for our palato. So 1.2 is around uh, this. So, paano ko ba nalaman na ganun yun rin? So, actually, I'm just uh, um, trying to interpolate. Pero, ito yung interpolation na you follow the trend of the curve. Kasi that's the only way that you can um, visualize this. 
So parang ganyan siya kasi knowing na this is uh, one, one, could be 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, and 1.5 right here. So ito, dito na yung naglalayo ang ating um, probable cur uh, line or curve. And then for our S, that's 0.45. So it's around here. Dito sa gitna ng 0.4 and 0.5. So, um, So, yung gitna nito is right here and then we intersect that para makuha natin yung ating desired value of Ft. So, pag na-intersect nyo siya, so it's around here. Okay? So, pag na-intersect nyo siya, ang gagawin nyo naman is gawa kayo ng line projecting to the Ft. Okay? So, yun yung ating line. So, based on my own perspective, that's 0.91. Okay? So, that is 0.91. So, ganun lang siya. And then, this skill will be using this when we go to humidification kasi ganun din yung style ng pagpapredict ng ating mga values. So, that's 0.91. So, our Ft is equal to 0 0.91. So, with this, we can now solve for our total area. So, we have Q that's um, 35 so we get Q is equal to UA and then delta TM. So we get 45, I think it's 35. Yes, 35. Ba natin kulay. So 35 times 10 cube watts. This is equal to our U which is um, 50. So that's 50 watts per meter square degrees celsius and then yung area natin is hinahanap natin and then this tm is our ft that is ft times our lmtd log mean temperature difference that tw that's 27 points uh, 4 to 41 degrees celsius so we can cancel this okay para may matera na sa atin na area so the answer here is, so the area is 28.0494 meter squared. So this is the area of our heat exchanger na cross flow. So mapansin nyo yung uh, behavior nila, yung almost same lang din ng ating mga sinasolve before. Okay? And so ganun lang siya simple for cross flow, i-assume lang lagi natin siya na counter current yung ating LMTD so wag parallel ha kasi uh, it's the way how this cross flow works for heat exchanger and then uh, kailangan nating malaman kung ano bang type siya ng cross flow could be one shell pass or two shell pass or kung ano man siya and then if it's not stated you would always assume that it is a cross flow um, single tube unmixed pero if it's said in the problem na siya a cross flow multi tube then you'll be using the other one here which is uh, letter F. Okay? So, kung hindi nyo pa rin, guys, kung para saan ba to, oh, I'll just be reiterating na ito yung um, parang general design nila, yung shell side natin, dun pumapasok yung ating, dito kasi is yung ating hot temperature yung shell side, and then yung ating cold temperature is yun yung ating dun sa my tube part. But, the effectiveness is obtained using the same formula. So, lagi tayong minimum over maximum temperature change dun sa effectiveness, and then yung ating um, capacity ratio yun yung difference in the hot over the cold fluid kasi usually yung ating changes in the hot re hot region some most of the time siya kasi yung mas mataas na value over this value which is um, sa cold pero syempre not in all cases na ganun yung ating makukuha okay and if you're getting confused with what to use in shell and tube well, usually it's LMTD na counter current, but you can always look at the direction of the flow from this graph and you would understand na yung kinukuha natin dito is yung same side. So, if it is T1 and then T2 to, to, so that's the first delta T. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. So, finally, um, let's move on to one um, example here which will employ the idea of convection and the rest of the general equations that you might be finding helpful in dealing with problems in the future due to setting heat exchanger. Okay.